I apologize. She said she understood. Did you sell it or something? No, 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 no. <clears throat> I just, I ended up, I lost it. I ended up losing it. It was like a ring. And I did it out of impulse. Um, but she realized I was missing later on, like a few days later. And blew up my phone. I felt really bad about that. Yeah. It felt horrible. Because she went out of her way to make sure that I had a place to stay and bought me a bunch of stuff and took me to rehab. And That's how, yeah. Yeah, that was really shitty. But, you know, we, we all... We've all done shit. Trust me. I've stole $20,000 yeah. from people who trust me. I get yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Um, honestly, I think... I mean... Cheated on people? Um... I was never really a cheater. I remember when I was like 16 or 17, I didn't end up cheating. Because mm-hmm. I wanted, I, honestly, it was kind of weird. It was, I was the opposite to where I didn't want to have sex with people ever, mm-hmm. like at all. Mm-hmm. So my boyfriend, and so I ended up um, like going to a party and seeing if I could like sleep with some dude to see if I liked it and mm. figure out why while people you were did with the that. <laughs> no, he wasn't oh, I there. I see. I know, but while you were dating. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I told him about it and he forgave me. I couldn't really hold that in. Mm-hmm. Pretty, <clears throat> pretty healthy conscience, I think. Sounds like it. Um. Yeah. Um. I feel really bad about whenever I, my mom. The last time I was staying with her, she has bipolar really bad, and she got drunk and ended up like <clears throat> yelling, screaming at me and her husband. Her husband was trying to talk to me and tell me that they were my friend and. Everything was okay. Like they're not gonna yell at me like my mom does. You yeah. Know, I could actually open up to them because I had a small and so I was mm-hmm. trying to. I was really trying and I was struggling, and he could see that. Um, my mom thought we were talking about her and mm-hmm. she was drunk and it was before Christmas and she gave me two weeks to get out and me and my boyfriend at the time we ended up leaving and I threw all my rigs all over the room so she could see him. Oh wow. And so that's why she won't let me back home now. Yeah. When was that? How long ago? Um, October. Yeah. So. And it's the first time I've ever really been cut off from my family. Are you a Leo? Yeah. When was your birthday? 14th. Me too. What a coincidence. Just had it. It's great. A uh, articulate mortal mirror. What's that? We're the mortal mirror. Uh, d- like, just describe uh, that to me. Nothing uh, passes our eye like when it comes to like awkward moments or human behavior. Like, oh, absolutely. We, we can see through like... All of it. All of it. All of yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Read someone. And like we that. also like end up embodying people's uh, energy, uh-huh. like in the way they act towards us. We empathically act that way. We don't mean to. Right. That's how. So like, that's why we have to get away and like yeah. be alone sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, you mentioned, your mom. So my mom <laughs> had like a rage, like yelling issue. Yeah. And that's my, my mom too. Yeah. It's, just it's really like, traumatic. Oh yeah. 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 And then yeah. you disappear, and then you're the bad kid because yeah. it's not addressing the true thing. But of course, her mom. It's exactly. the same one, you know, well, it's a multi, that, yeah, yeah, the same, yeah, and it always, it runs in the family, and, yeah, addiction runs in the family, and all yeah. of it, yeah, or cancer runs am. in the family, or whatever, whatever the ailment is, it's like past, always multi-generational family disorders, yep, yeah, um, three years ago, I had three years clean, uh, um, I'm, this last year, I had nine months clean, but it wasn't consistent, that's my, my problem is I'll have three months and relapse, 60 days and relapse, 60 days and relapse, 60 days, and so, like I can get back on the horse, you know, but it's like staying. It's on staying it, yeah. And are, when you when you're clean, like nothing at all. No, I don't even drink or anything. I usually stay at like a sober living. It's all about it, you know, exercising. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. Complete yeah. opposite, I guess. Of, that's how we are as you know, addicts, as we go to extremes. Extremes, yeah. What I yeah. found, what I found, I used to, I used to do that. So it was either totally clean, yeah, or totally like messy, <laughs> yeah. right? But what I found sort of recently is like, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll smoke, like I'll hit the like a pen you know and I'll take like a hit or whatever yeah. or like I'll have two or three drinks when I go to the bar instead of like 17 or drinks like or whatever five or seven yeah or whatever <laughs> nine or ten right so uh yeah uh, yeah I try to stay away from alcohol oh yeah there's another time I kicked my boyfriend's car because he wouldn't take me to go get more alcohol and mm. it was like eight minutes left to go get alcohol oh you're like let's fucking rock he was and like, roll let's go out the door and then he's like oh never mind because you're too anxious to go <laughs> and so I just got furious yeah. and I just kicked the headlight out and I still own for that headlight, you know? So yeah. I, and there's another thing, it's like consistency and also my debts I'm trying to right. remember that that's something I need to work on. Yeah. Like, that's my moral character. 
Yeah. Um, you know what I found though? I found that if you have debts toward other people, it's always like, oh, you got to go make that right or whatever. But whoever's up there, here's yeah, how. Here's, here's not, not here's, a guilt trip ourselves. Yeah, don't yeah. guilt trip. And honestly, here's the deal. That it's just all makes us sick. it makes us sick. Yeah. And then you got to go back and talk to all the other. Here's what I found that's actually the best thing to do. It's a scale. All the good and all okay. the bad you've done. So the debt stuff, the people you fucked over, that's the bad. <laughs> but then you have to do good things, not to them necessarily, yeah, but just to wait. anyone, strangers hopefully. And then once it starts to weigh in your favor, all of a sudden it starts to rock and roll. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's my own personal thing. Yeah, so I always say like karma's on my side. Yeah. yeah because yeah. I really don't try to harm anybody. And when I do, like, I, have, I straight up have to admit that yeah. I did that. You yeah. know, like, you know, that was, what can I do, you know, to make mm -hmm. it better? Because that was fucked up. Yeah. Um, like, whenever I fuck up, I fuck up, right. you know, but usually I, I think I, I try to, I don't know, be even a balance between everybody else. Yeah. But. Anything else? Shouldn't take on. Yeah. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Nothing yeah, else? Yeah, that's about, yeah. Cool. That's good. Okay, now.